Would you like to lower your monthly mortgage? Your credit card or other debts? Just log on. Number two. Yeah. This, Justin, you are looking at a, obviously a very disturbing live shot there. That is the World Trade Center, and we have unconfirmed reports this morning that a plane has crashed into one of the towers of the World Trade Center. The CNN Center right now is just beginning to work on this story, obviously calling our sources and trying to figure out exactly what happened, but clearly something relatively devastating happening this morning there on the south end of the island of Manhattan. That is, once again, a picture of one of the towers of the World Trade Center. Well, you can see these pictures. It's obviously uh, something devastating has happened. And again, unconfirmed report that a plane has crashed into one of the towers there. We are efforting more information on this subject as it becomes available to you. Right now, we've got Sean Murtaugh. He is a CNN producer on the telephone right now. Sean, what can you tell us about what you know? This is uh, Sean Murtaugh. I just was uh, standing on the... Uh, uh, Vice President of Finance. Sean. Vice President of Finance for CNN. Sean, we're on the air right now. What, what can you tell us about this situation? Hello? Yes, yeah, Sean, you're on the air yes, right yes. now. Uh, can, what, go ahead. What can you tell us? I, I just witnessed a plane that appeared to be cruising uh, slightly mm -hmm. lower than normal at altitude over New York City, and it appears to have crashed into, uh, I don't know which tower it is, but it hit directly in the middle of uh, one of the World Trade Center towers. Sean, what kind of plane? Was it a small plane, a, a it jet? Was a, uh, it was a jet. It uh, looked like a two-engine jet, um, maybe a 737. You're talking about a large passenger commercial a large jet. large passenger commercial jet. And where were you when you saw this? I am on the 21st floor of 5 Penn Plaza. Did it appear that the plane was having any difficulty flying? Yes, it did. It was teetering uh, back and forth, wingtip to wingtip. And it looks like it has crashed into probably 20 stories from the top of the World Trade Center, maybe the 80th to 85th floor. There is smoke billowing out of the uh, World Trade Center. Sean, what happened next? Does it, does it appear to you that the plane is still inside the World Trade Center? From my angle, I'm, I'm viewing south towards the Statue of Liberty and towards the World Trade Center. It looks like it has is embedded in the, in the building. I can't see from my my vantage point, whether it has come out the other side. Sean, what about uh, on the ground? Or any debris that has hit down there? Can my, you see My vantage anything? point is too far from the World Trade Center All to right. make any uh, determination of that. Did you see any smoke, any flames coming out of the engines of that plane? No, I did not. The, the plane just uh, was, was uh, coming in low, and the t wing tips tilted back and forth, and then it, it flattened out. It looks like it's uh, hit at a slight angle into the World Trade Center. I can see I can see flames now coming out the side of the building and smoke continues to billow. Well, generally, is that a traffic area in New York for, for aircraft? It is not a normal uh, uh, flight pattern. I'm a frequent fl uh, traveler between Atlanta and New York for business, and it is not a normal flight pattern to come directly over Manhattan. Usually they come up either over the, the Hudson River heading north and, and pass alongside the island of Manhattan, or if they're taking off from LaGuardia, they usually take off uh, over Shea Stadium and, 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 and take a, gain altitude around the island of Manhattan. It's rare that you have a jet crossing directly over um, the island of Manhattan. Just for our viewers who are be just tuning in right now, you're looking at a live picture of the World Trade Center Tower where, according to eyewitness Sean Murtaugh, he is a vice president of finance, an eyewitness to what he describes as a twin-engine plane or possibly a 737 passenger jet flying into the World Trade Center. It appears to be still embedded inside the building. Sean, are you in a position right now to hear whether any sirens are going, any ambulances, any sort of response to this yet? Uh, not, not from my vantage point. I'm probably a mile and a half, two miles from the World Trade Center. It, it is a, a remarkable scene as we're seeing right now. Flames still coming out of the windows, black smoke billowing from what appears to be all sides. Uh, obviously, uh, windows shattered and steel jutting out from the structure and right Sean, now. And Sean, once again, we're looking at these pictures. And I you're see them in my us, office. I have yeah, them on all my TVs. And you're telling us you believe the plane is still remains uh, embedded. I, I can't tell from my vantage point. All right. Sean, thank you so much thank for your you very eyewitness much. account there. Right now, we want to go to our affiliate NYW reporting on this as we speak. A little girl in his arms. Did you see what happened, sir? Did you see what happened? What happened? Well, I was in the path train, and there was a huge explosion sound. Everyone came out. A large section of the building is blown out. 
around like the 80th floor. Did, was it hit by something or was it something it was inside? inside? It, it was, was inside. inside. Because it looked out, everything was coming out. Everything all was the coming windows out. were coming out, all the papers were What is on out. the sidewalk? I didn't see anything. Was there any people hurt, do you know? Um, I just ran and everyone in the past train just ran. I don't know if anyone was hurt, but I assume they were because the windows were all blown out. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Ollie, you would have to assume uh, a very, very terrible situation if that indeed is the case, because I'm sure uh, there were people there were people up there in that uh, there were people up there in that uh, World Trade Center. Now we have lost again. Our transmitter is on top of the World Trade Center, so we apparently uh, have consequently lost contact with Dick Oliver. But we are on the on the phone with an eyewitness. Uh, Rosa, can you hear me? Is Rosa there? Hello. Rosa. Yes. Uh, this is uh, Jim Ryan here in the studio. Hi. Uh, what is your last name, please? Cardona Rivera. Okay. All right. Again, uh, you are looking at pictures now. We uh, understand from a CNN vice president, Sean Murtaugh, who was an eyewitness to this. We believe a commercial jet has crashed into one of the towers of the World Trade Center, and you can see the smoke billowing out. There are flames billowing out there, and uh, a commercial jet crashing into one of these towers. At this point, we do not have official injury uh, updates to bring you, but we are only uh, now beginning to put the, together the pieces of this uh, horrible incident. Right, just a few seconds ago, we were tuning in to uh, one of our affiliates in New York, uh, WNYW. Right now, we want to go to an eyewitness on the telephone right now, Jean. What can you tell us about what you saw? Uh, I can tell you that I was watching TV and there was this uh, sonic boom and the TV went out and I thought maybe that the Concorde was back in service because uh, I've heard about those sonic booms and I got up to my window. I live in Battery Park City right next to the Twin Towers and I looked up and the side of the World Trade Center exploded right when I looked up and uh, at that point debris started falling I couldn't believe what I was watching can you hear anything from your position right now ambulances sirens absolutely positively there are crowds of people downstairs in Battery Park City everybody's come out from the buildings this is the financial area in Wall you know in uh, Manhattan and there's a lot of fire engines uh, I can see them from my window Jean can you tell us uh, I don't know if you can tell which tower it is uh, that's on fire right now or, or the kinds of services that are inside that tower I can't tell what's inside. Uh, it's the northern tower uh, versus the southern tower, and it seems to be on all sides of the building, uh, from what I can tell. Uh, the uh, west side, the south side, and it looks like smoke's coming from the east side as well. Gene, can you see any of the debris currently on the ground area? Absolutely. I mean, it's, it, it's continuing to kind of flutter down like leaflets. And uh, at first, there was just tons of debris, and it continues to fall out. and. Uh, it looks like these uppermost floors uh, are definitely on fire. Mm. Can you see any actual uh, people in that area who may have, been, uh, may have been hit by any of this debris or were not able to get out of the way? Can you see any crowds that may be too close to where they should be? Anything like that? No, I don't think so. And uh, it's not a highly trafficked area mm -hmm. at the base of the World Trade Center. So that's one fortunate thing. Gene, right now we're continuing to look at uh, pictures of this devastating scene. According to Sean Murtaugh, Vice President of Finance, he witnessed what he described as a twin-engine plane, possibly a 737. He was almost absolutely sure that it was a large passenger jet that, that went into that plane. Gene, you're saying that you didn't see anything initially. You didn't see a plane actually approach the building. I had right? no idea it was a plane. I just, uh, I just saw the entire uh, top part of the World Trade Center explode. So you, uh, I turned on the TV when I heard they said it was a plane. Right. It was really strange. Were you there living in New York during the World Trade Center bombing? No, I wasn't. Fortunately so. When you say a sonic boom, did you actually feel anything? Were things shaking in your apartment? Uh, it, it, you know, yeah, you could feel it. It was just a gigantic sonic boom. The TV nearly, it, it went off for a second and then it went back on. And the windows you know, you felt the vibrations on the windows. You were saying it's not a high traffic area uh, usually, but c can you guesstimate uh, how many people may be in an area like that at, uh, at this, this hour of the morning? Uh, it would be hard to say. There, there is a huge courtyard between the two World Trade Center buildings, and the only issue might have been uh, tourists or business people out mm -hmm. in this courtyard area and they possibly would have been hit. But the people that are immediately around the base of the World Trade Center, I would say at any given time, 
you're talking about maybe 20 or 30 people at best. Uh, we were talking with Sean Murtaugh earlier, and he said this is not normally an area where you would see some sort of aircraft, uh, certainly, obviously, that low. But in that, that is not a high traffic uh, area in terms of flights? Uh, I don't know about flights. You know, uh, I have a balcony down here in Battery Park City, and they have that needle sticking out of the top of the World Trade Center. And I've always wondered, you know, uh, if anyone would kind of get too close to the building, uh, you know, and... and accidentally veer into it. Gene, tell us a little bit about that area and how emergency crews would uh, be able to access that area. Would that be relatively uh, difficult or, or easy to access for emergency people? I would imagine it would be slightly difficult because uh, to get around the base of the World Trade Center building, there's really only the one street entrance. Uh, the other sides of the building are surrounded by other buildings in the courtyard. and. Uh, so it's just this west side highway, this one major street that runs up the west side of Manhattan that makes it accessible for the fire engine. And, you know, it's amazing to sit here and watch this building on fire, and you've got this hmm. tiny uh, little fire engine that I'm watching. That's all you yeah. see right now is the, the, the one well, fire engine? The, where the, uh, the fire engines are, it's a little bit obscured by other buildings. Right. Gene, let me ask you, I know I'm asking you to be a bit of an expert on the World Trade Center, but there's a famous viewing deck for uh, tourists mm -hmm. on one of the towers. When you say that this is uh, the North Tower, is this the one that services a lot of the tourists to get their view and get to the restaurant at the top? As a matter of fact, it is. And uh, there's a, as I'm sure you can see, uh, there's a ton of smoke coming out right now. Um, I'm just guessing the, uh, the fire seems to be worse on, uh, it, it looks like it's about, 15 floors down from the top of the building. Yeah, one of the eyewitnesses, one of our affiliates, uh, was talking to said that she thought that this was on the 80th floor. We know that there's an open air deck uh, 110 stories high, and mm -hmm. the uh, glass enclosed observatory is on the 107th floor. So there is the possibility that people may very well be trapped up there. Yeah. All right, thank you so much, Jean Yearman. You're very welcome. Eyewitness here to uh, a loud sonic boom she described as she was sitting inside her apartment and she looked up and saw the side of the World Trade Center exploded into flames and black smoke. We are going to join one of, another one of our New York affiliates, WABC, for their live coverage. Plane overhead, and then all of a sudden I, I thought it sounded kind of lo um, louder, but I looked up and all of a sudden it smashed right dead into the center of the World Trade Center. Um, big uh, big flash of flame, uh, fire coming out from all over. Then the, all the um, the bricks is a huge hole right now. Um, it almost looks like the plane probably went through. I'm not sure. Winston, can you see? Are you on the north side there, where the the plane made uh, contact? Yes, I am. Now, when you say a huge hole, uh, one of our earlier uh -oh. witnesses, Libby Clark, said not much of the plane came down off the building. Much no, of it went totally right in. into the building. It's in the building, that, from what you can see. Right. Now, can yeah. you see if there's a lot of debris downstairs, Winston? Um, no, because it looked like it, it inverted. With the impact, everything went inside the building. Inside. Um, the only thing that came out was a little bit of the, um, the outside awning. But I'd say the huge, the hole is, let me just get a better look right now. Okay, go ahead. We'll the, um, I'd say the hole takes about, looks like six, seven floors were taken out. And there's more oh, explosions there's, oh, right now. Hold on, people are running. Wait, hold, so hold on. on just a moment. We've got an explosion inside. The building's exploding right now. you got people running up the street. Okay. Hold on, I'll tell you what's going on. Okay, just uh, put, put Winston on pause there for just a moment. Okay, while the he... whole building just exploded some more. The whole top part. Okay. The building's still intact. People are running up the street. Uh, am the... I still connected? Winston, this would support probably what Libby and you both said, that perhaps the fuselage was in the building that would cause a second explosion such as that. Well, that's what just happened then. That would that certainly... Yeah, people are running up. Up. Um, I, We are getting word that perhaps... Okay, hold on. The, the people here are... Everybody's panicking. All right, well, Winston, you know, Winston, let me put Winston on hold for just a moment. Okay, I don't know don't how much longer we're staying. I'm inside of a diner right now. Well, Winston, you know what? If you could give us a call back. I just don't want to panic here on the air. Let's just uh, take some of our pictures from News Chopper 7. Now, one of our producers said perhaps a second plane was involved, and let's not, let's not even speculate to that point, but at least put it out there that perhaps that may have happened. Uh, the second explosion would certainly back the theory from a couple of eyewitnesses that the plane fuselage 
perhaps stayed in those upper buildings. Now, if you look at the second building, there are two, the, both Twin Towers now are on fire. Now, this was not the case, am I correct? A couple of moments ago, this is the second Twin Tower now on fire. And we're gonna check on the second flight if perhaps that had happened. This all began at about 8.48 this morning. Again, what we know in case you're just joining us, a small plane, not a Cessna type or five or six seater, but instead perhaps a passenger flight ran into the north side of the World Trade Center. As you can see, the, the second explosion that you're looking at now in the second Twin Tower it has spread much debris, much more debris than the first explosion or the first accident. Uh, if there is, if, is Winston still on the line with us? Okay, he's not there, but um, do we have, I'll just talk to my producer, do we have a, an eyewitness that perhaps sees better than we do from these pictures? Again, you can see that there is debris falling off. Come on, dip. Okay, we actually have an eyewitness news reporter, Dr. Jay Adlersberg, who is downtown at the time, and he is on the phone with us live. Dr. Jay, what can you tell us? Hello, Steve. Um, I'm actually uptown at 86th and Riverside. I can see the World Trade Center from about half the building um, uh, up to the top. And about five minutes ago, as I was watching the smoke, um, a small plane, I it looked like a propeller plane came in from the west and um, uh, about 20 or 25 stories below the top of the center it disappeared for a, a second and then exploded um, uh, behind a water tower so I couldn't tell whether it hit the building or not but it was very visible that a plane had come in uh, at a low altitude uh, okay. and appeared to crash into the uh, World Trade Center. Dr. J, we're going to take a look at videotape just moments ago of the second plane hitting the World Trade Center. That is spectacular pictures. I don't know if you, you could see the plane, and that too was a passenger plane, if perhaps some type of navigating system or some type of electronics would have put two planes into the World Trade Center within it looks like about 18 minutes of each other. You want to go to? We have another copy. There is the second plane, another passenger plane hitting the World Trade Center. These pictures are frightening indeed. These are just minutes between each other. So naturally, you will guess and you will speculate and perhaps ask the question, if some type of navigating equipment is awry that two commuter planes would run into the World Trade Centers at the same time. Our director, you're speaking in my ear at this point. You are looking at live pictures right now of the World Trade Centers. Again, we now have two passenger planes within 18 minutes of each other smashing into the World Trade Centers. Dr. J, are you still with us on the phone? I'm still with you, Steve. Dr. J, this is just frightening pictures indeed, and, and I would assume, or you would naturally think that when they've been listening to some of the coverage provided for us by our affiliate WABC out of New York City, let's go now and check our other affiliate WNBC to get the latest, I'm sorry, WNYW, WNYW here, live coverage here of this amazing picture we're getting from Lower Manhattan, two planes, one hitting each of the Twin Towers at the World Trade Center. They come by and they say, what happened, what happened? And you just got to say, something hit the building, and then something hit both buildings. Mm -hmm. Well, we, uh, we, we saw clearly, uh, we didn't see the first one, but we saw clearly mm -hmm. that a plane uh, deliberately crashed mm -hmm. into the, one of the upper floors of the World Trade Center. That was the second plane. So two planes mm -hmm. uh, crashed into the uh, upper floors mm -hmm. of each of the World Trade Center towers. And I'm just, uh, I understand now that uh, Port Authority headquarters are in uh, one yeah. of those buildings somewhere mm -hmm. near that location. Uh, Jim, I, I yes. don't know whether we've confirmed that this was an aircraft or to be more specific. Some people said they thought they saw a missile. Well, I don't know how people could dis dis differentiate 
but we might keep mm. open the possibility that this was a missile attack mm. uh, on these buildings. Uh, Ali, I must say that uh, we have an eyewitness who said it was a large plane that crashed first. And then uh -huh. as, as we were watching the live picture here in the studio, we saw a plane mm. crash, into the, crash into the other tower of the World Trade Center. And again, let's uh, just to be sure, th there oh, it is. Oh. There it is. The plane mm. went right through mm. the other tower of the World Trade Center. That is a very hard thing to watch. And clearly, These are incredible pictures that we're watching this morning. These, thanks to our affiliate WNYW in New York. You are looking at this, at this picture. It is the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center, both of them being damaged by impacts from planes. We saw one happen at about maybe nine minutes before the top of the hour. And just moments ago, so maybe 18 minutes after the first uh, impact, the second tower was impacted with a, by another, what appeared to be another passenger plane. Uh, in fact, we've got some tape replay of that. Do we have the tape available right now? Here's the plate. Here is the tape. You see the plane coming in from what looks like the east side, and it blows into the building with the flames and the smoke billowing out the other side of the tower. It's hard for me to tell exactly which is the north side and which is the south side, but it appears it's coming out of the north side there. Incredible pictures. These happened just moments ago. And I believe we have someone with us on the line. Ira Firmer. Is it, we have Ira Firmer, the former NTSB spokesman. And you're watching these pictures as well with us, are you not? Yeah, I'm with you on CNN. What, what can you make of what we have seen, and you, and particularly with this replay we just saw moments ago? That's absolutely inexplicable. There, there shouldn't be any aircraft in that area, much less something heading what looked like deliberately for the World Trade Center Tower. You don't think there's any way this could be any kind of an accident, no kind of a navigational equipment failure or some sort of a, a navigational quirk by a beacons or whatever? No, you've got incredibly good visibility at this point, and no pilot is going to be relying on navigational equipment uh, in such a circumstance that would uh, cause them to crash into the World Trade Center. How far out of the way from an approach to either LaGuardia or Kennedy would a plane have to be to hit the World Trade Center? There are approaches that uh, come up uh, along the Hudson River, which is to the west of the World Trade Center, uh, and those aircraft usually wind up going into LaGuardia. So you can come within uh, a mile or two of the World Trade Center, but uh, it is such a visible object as you're approaching New York City that uh, it's just not possible for a pilot during the daytime uh, to have taken uh, a course that would put it right into the World Trade Center. And a second occurrence uh, within a few minutes is beyond belief. And as you can see, there definitely is no weather problem, so uh, weather would be uh, definitely ruled out as a factor in this case. Yes, the course is a normal course. I mean, for commercial pilots coming into New York, it certainly appeared uh, from the video on CNN that uh, the uh, second aircraft was heading for the tower and uh, that it was a commercial-sized aircraft. Could you tell, uh, have a better idea about what size that plane was? It was kind of hard for me to tell. You're an expert in these matters. Could you look at that tape and tell what size that plane was? Uh, it would have to be slowed down, and uh, you'd need more than one angle for it because you'd want to see how many engines on it, uh, the shape of the tail. Well, if it's, if it's possible, gang, could we, guys, could we go ahead and replay that tape right now? Do we have the tape ready of the second plane impacting? We've got, we're going to put that tape on in just a second. Here, we're about to roll it now. Uh, if you can, sir, I don't want you to, spe to speculate, but if you can, give us an idea of what you think might be at play here. What kind of plane we're talking about, or at least what size. If we're talking about one that would hold, say, 100 people, one that would hold 300 people, uh, from the, what you see, you know, we can we'll have to back the tape up further than that, guys. Here we go. It's very hard to get a perspective on it. Uh, I don't know how far away we are at this, but that looks to me um, like it could be uh, certainly a passenger jet and uh, one of those aircraft that could hold 100 or more people. Uh, I caution you at this point uh, to wonder whether or not that airplane was occupied by more than just a pilot or a crew. Um, we don't necessarily know that there were any passengers aboard that airplane. Understood. Understood. Uh, Darren Kagan joining the conversation here, sir, but there's no indication that there would be any air traffic on purpose in the area of the World Trade Center at this time of day. Or
everybody reads it first so we can get a good so we can get a good picture of it. Of so this, like this? We can yeah, we can do that. We can start it frozen. Okay, so we need to also have a brief right before it goes to the Yes. We'll start it like this. Yes, and just keep it there for a couple of Right, and then. Yeah. We've got another beat when we're done with Good. Yikes. Okay. Ladder 17, RX 94. I'm ready. Tell me, you've got to tell them. And then we're going to roll it. Okay, while you're doing the ad lib, ready, ready, or 10. Dissolve. We're going to mix up some of these pictures then. Yes. Right. Right. If he shows up and says something, we'll be there. In a minute. Yes. Ready, ready, or 11. NBC saying it's a hijacked plane. This off. You want, okay. Ready to tape. Okay, here we go to the tape, everybody. Quiet. Roll. Dissolve. Paused. Now you ready? Roll it. Look at you. Look at you. Okay, now hold that. Roll it. Please roll. I love you. Can we do it again? Yeah, we will. Ready, router 11. Stand by to advance. Advance, dissolve, requeue it. Stand by to do this again. We're going to do it again. You ready? You guys want to do this again, what we did? Sure. Where is she? Sure. Kim, I'm going to do it again. Stand by to dissolve. Shh. Dissolve. Stand by to roll B. Roll it. Stand by to freeze it again. Freeze it. Zoom it in. Roll it again. Kill that beeper. Here comes another beeper. Ready, rider 11. This off. Thank, thank you for tracking that beeper. Ready, router 10. Stand by to dissolve the 10. Going to 23, New York. Dissolve. We're on 10. Right. Oh, don't worry. I'm staying on these shots. Their mics are still going to be hot. Ready, router 11. Stand by to dissolve. Dissolve. Track your beeper. Where's Kelly? Where's Kelly? Where's Kelly? Beeper's tracked. We don't have her. Kill the beeper. Oh, we got her. You want to try to do that live? Yeah. 
You ready? I know, this is just doing that way this time. We can't freeze and zoom, too. Stand by to run this tape. We're going to do your earlier here. I'm going to do the tape. Ready? Stand by to dissolve first. Dissolve. This is earlier. Roll it. Do your effect. No, the better one is not in C right now. Stand by to dissolve to 11. Dissolve. I don't know what they're doing. Ready, Ryder, 10. Dissolve. It does. Another paper. Hey, Darren got to tell me to keep the pictures up. Way to go, Darren. What? You're not, you don't want this yet, do you? I can't hear you, Billy. Say again. I know. I don't want it, though. Ready, Rider 11. This off. We're on 22, which is 11. Yeah, good downing. What do we want to do with that? Out of this, Leon gets us a sound on A. NYW is no, no, it's not. No, it's not. Hold on. I don't know what it is. Well, good. They didn't give us the right thing. Who is Channel 7 in New York? ABC, then. That's what scores back. No, well, that's so it's a normal day for me. Look at the That's earlier. Stand by, sound on A. Rolay, track dissolve. Okay, kill their mics for a second. This runs about 50 seconds. Thirty seconds. Darren's going to get us to another beeper next. Fifteen. Right. Ready, rider 11 first. I would love to use 21. I love that shot, but I, no one can tell me. Somebody's off. Stand by. This off. Go. Track them. Ready, router 10. I'm going to need, in 18, I'm going to need a big, gosh, in breaking news style, a big little. Atlanta director in New York. Yes, hey, how you doing? I just want to set up comms. Aaron should be here any minute. I'll let you know as soon as he hits the roof. Thank you. All right. Where will I see him, do you think? Um, you'll see him probably down the... Uh, 28, Mike. On 28? Yes, I'll write him down 28. In matter of eight. You're getting ISOs right now. You're getting ISOs now. We'll switch Okay, we, never ha we haven't yet. Got it. Right. No, president's in the little. When you set up your big little... In your big little, it's going to be 11 in the top and 17 in the bottom. 
I need your breaking news background somewhere, please. I got it, ready. Aaron Brown's going to show up in Rider 8, RX-28. New York ISD in Rider 8. Okay. Yeah, but then, thank you. You cannot use 21. Good, I have to get rid of it anyway. I'm out of yeah, places. We, yeah, that's right. You're right. What? You're right, you're right, you're right. I would imagine you still have to get Chad. Okay. We may be doing Chad Myers here in his mic. Yeah. I, you're wonderful. Thank you. Ready router 10. Everybody dissolve. We're going to 23. Dissolve. He needs to put, Chad needs to put his mic on. It's not turned on. It to, yeah, I, I'm not hearing fuzz anymore. Chad, you there? I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm so ready. Doesn't show us, and yeah. Ready, Rider 11, dissolve. Gosh, in Rider 4, RX 30. It might be a Washington IFB in Router 4. What? Routers 1922. You can blow those away. Yes, that's right. You can't use audio on 20. Going back to another beeper. Here comes Major Garrett on a beeper line. I Mike, have it over there. You tell me Brown, when we get Brown, he'll be on router 48 out of New York. Router okay. 48. Router 8, I need RX 48 now. Track the beeper. Good morning, Aaron. President Bush. This is Major Garrett when they put the font in there. Router 8 is going to be a New York IFB. It's going to be Aaron Brown. Which one? Okay. Which tape is it that you want? Doing another beeper after this, everybody. Where are you getting that from? I'm ready. Ready, Rider 10. I know you're busy. I'm sorry. This on 23. It's making me laugh. Yes, I do want to do that. We're staying on 23, everybody. Stand by. It is off to your effect. They're moving. No. I'm busy with it. Oh, you know what? I can put it there. But I'm busy here. Stand by. Do your effect first. Dissolve. Do your effect. We're using 23. Stand by. It is off to 11 then after the. Ready, 11. Dissolve. Okay, and Rider 7, RX-94. Now, we'll put it there so everyone's happy and no one will... I know, I'm getting rid of it there because they can't see it there, and, you know, it's all important. Okay, now... In Rider 17, let's put RX-35. 17, RX-35, that's New York 1. There we go. Okay, so now you're big little when you get there. It's going to be with, with seven. Yeah. 
Stand by your answer beeper. CNN has learned that one of the planes that went in was American 767. Track a beeper. American Airlines 767. Well, Leon, I, I can just tell you uh, that uh, U.S. officials are also telling me. This is David Ensor when they drop it in there. Ready, router 10. Stand by to Dizov. Dizov, we're on 23, New York. Pretty much. Two minutes to the president. There he comes. Preset your effect. Dissolve. Right so Stand by to track seven under. Kill the beeper. Track seven full. Kill them. Kill their mics. Their mics are dead. Ready router 10 in there. Go ahead and put 10 in there. Atlanta director, it's New York. Yes, I see Aaron Brown. I see Aaron. Um, he's almost all wired. Give me another few seconds. Good. New York IFB for him, right? Yes, correct. Good. Aaron Brown's getting ready. He's almost ready. Okay, let's talk about the hand. Let's talk about the handover. I got a second. We don't know. We don't know. First or second plane. We don't know. Ready, rider 11 in there. Stand by their mics, open their mics, go. Stand by to dissolve to 11. As soon as he gets out of the room. Okay. Dissolve. Okay, in router 7, RX 90. Oh, he's on 94. I'd be 35 in router 7. I'd be 35 in router 7. Are we sure that he's staying on 94? I'd be 30, 40. I'd be 30. I'd be 35 in router 7. Ready, router 10. This off. Track the beeper, please. Yes, go ahead. When we do air, yes. I'll tell you when, you'll take him full. Because we can see it, yeah. Establish him there for a bit. And then he'll do a great recap. Right. And then we'll go to your picture full. In fact, okay. let's load up the slow mo of the second plane hitting. And okay. I'm have him voice over that, and then out of that, you'll go to a lot of Okay. Cue up, cue up 373, please, and see. Okay, good. When we do this, Aaron Brown will be full. Aaron Brown will be full, and then he's going to go to the slow mo tape that's in C. And then we'll go back to a live shot. Ready, Rider 11. Dissolve. Kill the beeper. Stand by your beeper. Track your beeper. Ready, Rider 10. No, we've been, uh, several years now, we've been working on the current capital. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Apparently, one of those 10 does not know yet. Right now, I know. Somebody is off of that. Is off. 
I don't know. We're not. But if we're going Major Garrett first, though. Yeah. Aaron, he does a recap. We run the the video of the thing going in there. Go back to a pretty shot. Ready about her 11. What? What are you doing? Oh. Well, they haven't heard the plan. According to who? I'm According to the national best. Moment. The national best. Um, I'm right. waiting for them to tell me. No, I've right. got it. I just I'm talked to Aaron. He's ready. Aaron will do a recap. Do we have Aaron's font ready? Slow mo picture. I'm ready. Getting ready. When you hear him start referencing that, you just roll it. Out of that, just go to a live picture. Gotcha. And then he's off and running. Sandra, he's on New York ISB. You would tell him where to go from there. Probably going to go to the Bush Huh? And we'll, after, after his recap, we'll have him show to the Bush Town moments ago. The president said they put Got it. I need a big little that does not ha that has a little not live. Big little with a little not live, please. When we do that, it's going to be 11 in the big, and it's going to be a, a sound bite from C in the not live. Out of this, I'd like to have to Aaron. Preset eight. Now tell me what you're going to do. Okay. Yes. Going to Aaron Brown now. See the beeper? Here comes Aaron. Ready, router eight. Is this off? Ready, C, voice over. And he says the second one. Yeah. Yep. At the World Trade Center. Yeah, yeah. Of the, of the front tower now, and then about a half this hour off. Later, Somebody roll it. As, uh, Take your live off of this. Roll it. It says earlier, if you have it. Can they talk to Darren, please? Coming around the building. Right now, in this case, and there. Somebody's off back to him. Somebody's off. The first time I've seen that case, come to the back side of the tower. I guess that would be the south side of the tower. And, and then the smoke and flames coming out the front side. Washington uh, ISB on Router 5. Yeah, that was about uh, half for Jamie. After the first no. And Router 7, RX 2. And router six, RX sixty four. Okay, not yet. Okay, stand by to track router five, ready router eleven. Set up your big little with five in the bottom, eleven in the top. Track forty nine for Jamie. Actually, you know what? Set up your big big with eleven and nine. Uh, Ready, Rider 9. Dissolve. Hey, on uh, 30. Okay, can I use 2? Ready, ready Rider 7. WUSA font coming here, please. Dissolve, track 5. Beepers down. I can't. Yep, I'm, I'm seeing him do it. Okay, good. They're on 49. It's not their show anymore. What is this on the Mark 13? Michael, 49, you see the video? What? On 49, you see the video? I'm feeding you on 49. 49. On 29? 49. 4 5? 49. 45? 49. 49. Look at 49. On 45. Check 23, 23. On 23. Look at 23. Ready? Ready, batter 10. Ready? This is off. Advance. 
Oh, Lose your font. And I can't, I'll, I'll tell you that I can't see that second Ready, power. okay, ready, eight. Send me to dissolve to eight. Dissolve, I can't yet. Advance your font when you get a chance. Huge billowing smoke in the second tower. This was the second of the two towers hit. And I, you know, I cannot see behind that smoke, obviously, as you can either. The first tower in front has not changed. And we see this extraordinarily and frightening scene behind us of this second tower now just encased in smoke. What is behind it, I, I cannot tell you. But just look at that. That is about as frightening a scene as you will ever see. Again, this is going on now in two cities. We have a report that uh, there is a fire at the State Department as well and that is being evacuated. So we've got fires at the Pentagon evacuated, the State Department evacuated, the White House evacuated on the basis of what the Secret Service describes as a, as a credible terrorist threat. We have two explosions, two planes hitting the World Trade Center here in New York. And what this second explosion was that took place about a part of the south, that would be the south tower, has apparently collapsed. We don't know if that was from the impact of this first plane that hit it or whether something else has happened there. We'll work on that. Our Washington bureau chief, Frank Cessno, is on the phone. Frank, what are you hearing? Aaron, I just drove past the Pentagon across the 14th Street Bridge, which is now choked with traffic. We're beginning to hear uh, emergency sirens and rescue personnel uh, uh, standing out across Washington. There is a gigantic black billowing cloud of smoke that, has, that is rising over the Pentagon. You heard Jamie McIntyre a moment ago describe where that uh, was coming from. I can also tell you that local radio, in addition to talking about evacuations, as we've heard at the Pentagon, and the White House is reporting that the uh, Capitol building has been evacuated and the Treasury Department has been evacuated. Washington, D.C., the nation's capital, is exceptionally tense and uh, clearly taking steps as if it is virtually under siege here. We don't know specifically, as you, as you said, uh, what has taken place at the Pentagon, but this is very serious, striking at the heart of the national government. And as John King was explaining, Frank, the White House Frank, it's Aaron. I, I need to interrupt you for a second. Uh, again, there has been a second explosion uh, here in uh, Manhattan at the, at the Trade Center. We are getting reports that a part of the tower, the second tower, the one a, a bit further to the south of us, uh, has collapsed. We are checking on that. We are also told that the Sears Tower in Chicago has been evacuated. And what I can't tell you on that is whether there was something specific that happened there, whether there was an attack on that building yet, we're checking that out, or whether there was a warning, whether there was a threat of some sort, or whether that is simply precautionary. What we can tell you is that it just in the last several minutes here, two or three minutes, a second or third, I guess technically, extraordinary event has happened here in lower Manhattan. You can see this extraordinary plume of smoke uh, that is, or was at least, the second tower of the World Trade Center. Oh, perhaps three, four minutes ago, you could, from where we were standing, see that second building that is just a bit to the south of the first building. Uh, but you can't see it anymore. It is covered with smoke, a large pool of smoke also coming still from the first tower where the first plane hit at about 8.45. Um, we can, by the way, if we can uh, uh, cue the tape, we can show you that second attack uh, or at least the second explosion in the Trade Center that occurred at about 9.15 Eastern Time. As you can imagine, lower, there you can see to the right of your screen a plane coming in. We do have a report of a hijacked American Airlines plane. It comes into the south side and then boom, you can see the fire coming out the front or the north side of the building. I guess that would be the northeast side of the building. And then just in the last several minutes, there has been a second explosion, or at least perhaps not an explosion, perhaps part of the building simply collapsed. And that's what we saw, and that's what we're looking at as uh, smoke now just covers lower Manhattan, almost as far to the end of uh, Manhattan Island as you can get, this is where the trade centers are. The, the, trade, or the Sears Tower in Chicago has been evacuated, and we continue to check 
on the circumstances there. The Pentagon, the State Department, and the White House have been evacuated in Washington as well. The president has said, uh, we can show you now what happened just a few moments ago at the Trade Center. Watch the building to the left, to the, to the back of those two buildings. This is just a few minutes ago. We don't know if something happened, another explosion, or if the building was so weakened, it just collapsed. But um, we have a, one of our producers on the phone, and I didn't get the name, so why, do, uh, why don't we just go ahead? Are you there? Yeah, this is Rose Arce calling from New York. Rose, tell me what you know. Just a few minutes ago, we saw there's a portion of the building where the first plane struck that seemed to be buckling inside itself, almost as if the top of the building was going to fall. Shortly after that, two people, it's hard to tell whether they were being pushed or they, they physically approached themselves the sort of river side of the building, it would be the west side of the building, and appeared to jump from the top floors, just under where you seeing the smoke and fire. That is extraordinary. The South Tower, the World Trade Center, has collapsed. Again, tell me, how long ago was it that you saw this? This must have been about, about five minutes ago, and prior to that, you could see heads popping out of windows right beneath where that big gaping hole is. So there appeared to be people arrived right below where the crash point was and were trying to find some way out of there. And just as the thing started to buckle, you saw them plummeting from, from that top floor. Right, and, and perhaps this is stating the obvious. We apologize for that. But obviously, people were uh, already at work here uh, at the Trade Center when this happened. Uh, we don't know how many people. Uh, have been hurt in all of this. We have no idea at this point. As you look at an aerial shot coming from the, I guess that would be coming from the south uh, of the Trade Center or what is at least the Trade Center behind those uh, huge plumes of smoke. All airports across the country, every airport in the United States has been shut down as the FAA and the government tries to figure out exactly what has happened, what is at risk, what is not, who is behind it. Are there more explosions, more attacks yet to come? Uh, here in New York, the trading on the New York Stock Exchange has been suspended, at least for now. All bridges and tunnels coming into the city have been shut down as police try and clear, uh, clear the way. We can tell you, as we were coming in uh, perhaps an hour ago, uh, there was a a convoy, I can't think of a better word, a convoy of fire and police trucks racing down the West Side Highway. And this is in the middle of rush hour. Obviously, every uh, available fire unit here in Manhattan has been brought to the Trade Center. Outside the White House, John King, our senior White House correspondent. John. Hello, Aaron. They have pushed us even further back away from the White House now, and there are more than a half dozen fire trucks. Some of the Secret Service now patrolling the perimeter in Lafayette Park, which is directly across from the White House, have automatic rifles drawn to keep people away from the park, and they're policing back and forth. You can probably hear additional fire apparatus arriving on the scene. Uh, senior White House staffers who were evacuated, all they can tell us is that they were told that there was a credible threat on the White House as well, and that they were told to evacuate the premises. What we do not know is uh, whether or not the vice president and the national security team have stayed inside the White House Situation Room. We know that they were directing and monitoring operations from there as of just about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes ago. But the White House staff, the executive office building staff, and all the office buildings around, including the Treasury Department and some government and some non-government office buildings, people have been evacuated out into the street. And again, the Secret Service now putting up yellow police line tape and some of them patrolling Lafayette Park with automatic rifles, which is a scene quite extraordinary here across from the White House. Uh, John, um, tell us as best you can what the government's national security apparatus uh, will do right now. I mean, what, what do you guess is happening and where is it happening? Well, the, in the, I, I don't want to guess at all, but in the, from the White House Situation Room, a president or a vice president can direct a war. Uh, can direct a full-scale world war. The White House Situation Room is where all information it is accessible to all information from the United States military, from the Federal Emergency Management Agency, from the Federal Aviation Administration in this case. The, the White House Situation Room is prepared just for situations like this, unfortunately, to be prepared in a time of crisis for the President 
to monitor incoming information and to direct any U.S. military or non-military emergency response. The White House Situation Room is a bomb shelter, for that matter. That part of the White House is a bomb shelter. Whether or not they have stayed in there is unclear. We know in the past that would be the routine. We just do not have a direct answer as yet because the, most of the staff, is, if not all of the staff, has been evacuated from the premises. So I gather you're just not being a, you're not able to get any calls into the building right now, or at least not getting them answered at this point. Everybody calls you got, get in, calls you get into the building are not answered at this point. Uh, and more fire apparatus showing up now as we speak. We saw most of the senior staff come out. We have not seen the national security staff that we would recognize anyway. But I should note there are other gates from the White House. We are on the north side. And this is the John, we, you're being drowned out by uh, by the sirens. Uh, Alan Dots Frank uh, of our bureau here in New York joins us on the phone. Alan, where are you? Hi, Alan. Um, my co our colleague Jennifer Westhoven uh, also just arrived. She was closer to the building. I'm just south of Canal Street, about 10 blocks north of World Trade Center. And just before 10 o'clock, parts of the building began peeling away. People started screaming. Jennifer tells me, because she was a little closer to the building, that uh, the police began yelling, run, run and uh, thousands of people started running away from the buildings as they were falling. That was, of course, followed by an onrush of avalanche, I mean, ambulances and uh, special police vehicles. Some people have told us, although I can't confirm this, that dozens of stories of the building have fallen away, maybe down as low as the 30th floor. Uh, and again, just uh, uh, because we lost a little bit at the beginning, where are you physically now? This is the tape. I'm just south tape. of the Holland Tunnel in downtown Manhattan, perhaps 10 to 15 blocks north of the World Trade Center. Got it. And uh, the pictures that uh, our viewers are looking at, this was that collapse of uh, the South Tower Correct. just a few minutes ago here in New York. Yes, and moments after that, people began running toward us. Um, Jennifer Westhoff, who normally is at the stock exchange, was... Okay, Only about five blocks away, and she saw the same thing. Uh, Alan, thank you. Let me go to uh, one of New York's deputy mayors, Randy, former deputy. to former deputy mayor. What are you hearing, Randy? Um, I, I only know what I have seen on television. Um, I've tried to talk to some hand, friends. Hand me the, here we go. Hand me the microphone. There we go. I, I only know what I have uh, heard on television. I've tried to speak to some friends. Obviously, phone lines, communication is difficult. Um, you know, nothing prepares you in life for a senseless tragedy like this one, but there is no city better prepared to deal with such emergency situations than New York City. Tell me, based on the plan, what is happening 30 blocks away? Sure. Um, Mayor Giuliani established early on an Office of Emergency Management to coordinate all the government agencies involved. So you have coordinated leadership of police, fire, health, all the city agencies uh, responding to that emergency. Um, they've planned for this kind of event. Unfortunately, this is not a unique occurrence in the life of New York City or our country. Uh, tragedies like well, this happen. It may not happened. be a unique occurrence, but it is a very rare and extraordinary one. It is extraordinary, right. and therefore, therefore, um, in New York City, we have coordinated response, and they're responding now and providing every help that they can under these extraordinary circumstances. Hang on one second. We have a report now of an explosion on Capitol Hill, and we are checking that out. We have a report of a plane crashing at the Pentagon, the Pentagon being evacuated, uh, fire on the mall in Washington, the State Department evacuated, uh, and we have all flights shut down across the country as officials sort out what's happening here. Uh, Randy, back to you for a second. How much of the, well, if, if I recall this correctly, there is a, what was called a bunker, the mayor's bunker, for these sorts of events in the Trade Center, correct? Uh, there is an emergency management center at the Trade Center. Um, is that, clearly the mayor is not there. Um, I, I have not spoken with the mayor, okay. so I don't know his physical location, but I do know that that coordinated emergency response started immediately. Um, it's something that the city prepares for, and it's something that, you know, under these tragic circumstances, the city is doing everything it can to respond. How much of the plan changed after the World Trade Center bombing in 93? Well, there was no coordinated city response. There was no Mayor's Office of Emergency Management. Rudy Giuliani established that. Um, it's been one of the hallmarks of his tenure, and unfortunately, there are extraordinary circumstances like this one where that coordinated effort uh, has to come into play and is coming into play now. Why don't you, if you can, stay with us for a little bit. Sure. Uh, I suspect other questions are going to come up. 
I, I just I want to go through again what we know here at this point and also point out some things that are not insignificant that we don't know. And one of the things we don't know is we do not now know how many fatalities there have been and how many injuries there are. Uh, we can only surmise that this has been catastrophic, uh, an event, a catastrophic event here in New York. Both Trade Center towers hit. One of them appears to have collapsed. How much of it collapsed? These are uh, very large. Uh, in any case, we cannot tell you how many uh, injuries, how many fatalities there have been. This is one of those situations that is extraordinarily chaotic. Uh, even, even in the best of planning, I think it's fair to say that it is chaotic and officials are trying to do many things at one time. We have on the phone a pilot who witnessed these uh, planes crashing in to the World Trade Center. Uh, sir, can you tell me your name? John, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Uh, John, tell me what you saw. Uh, this morning, we were at uh, Midtown Manhattan in a, a 31st floor of a building facing south. We saw a 767 flying low down the center of Manhattan Island heading towards downtown Manhattan. At about uh, maybe 20 blocks north of the World Trade Center, we saw the plane veer to the left and fly directly into the north side of the South Tower. So this was the second uh, plane that hit the tower, correct? No, this was the first plane. This, Got it. This John, was the 767. Got it. John, hang on. Kate Snow's on Capitol Hill. Uh, Kate, what can you tell us uh, about the events there? Well, I'm a couple of blocks away from the Capitol right now. I can tell you that about a half hour ago, the Capitol building itself was evacuated. Um, it was a little bit chaotic. Everyone was running out of the building. People ran a couple of blocks away. We have now been pushed back by security. We're within two blocks of the Capitol. I did see myself a plane about a half hour ago circling over the Capitol. Now, whether that may have been an Air Force, a U.S. plane, it's, it's unclear. It, uh, but that seemed to be the reason, according to security guards that I talked with, for the evacuation of the Capitol. They had seen something or heard something suspicious. They've evacuated the Capitol and the surrounding buildings, the office buildings, at least on the House side, which is where I'm standing. There are three house office buildings. Those have also been evacuated. Uh, we're seeing members of Congress are walking by us here on the sidewalk. Um, I Kate, can also... You go ahead. Kate, I'm sorry. And if you've said this, I apologize. Uh, and I apologize to viewers, too. Uh, was there, to your knowledge, an explosion at the Capitol? No, sir. There was not. Uh, I, I cannot... I can see the Capitol from here. Everything looks to be fine. There was, however, Aaron, a a sound about five minutes ago that sounded like some sort of explosion. Now, everything is in close proximity here in Washington. It could be that that may have been something that happened at the Pentagon. We're, we're not very clear on that. But okay. we did hear a sound. We heard something that sounded like a loud boom about five minutes ago. And Kate, you are again how far away from the, from the Capitol building itself? Uh, I'm standing on Pennsylvania Avenue, which is a main artery in Washington, D.C., and I'm about two blocks away from the Capitol. I did just see a spokesperson, by the way, for uh, the Speaker of the House, Mr. Hastert, Dennis Hastert, who tells me that uh, Mr. Hastert and other leaders have been evacuated into what he called a secure location. It's not clear where exactly they are, but they've been put somewhere secure. And because we can't see it at this point, just give me a sense of what it looks like there. Are there many, many people on the street? Uh, is yeah, it, this is... is this Sidewalks, uh, people are calm. I think most people don't really know what's going on. Most people haven't been watching the news. Um, but the sidewalks are definitely full of people where, you know, normally at this time of the morning, there wouldn't be that many people out here. And as I say, I've been passed by numerous uh, members of Congress and senators and staff, you know, who I know well who have been coming past me asking me what's going on. Okay, why don't you uh, hang around here and continue to report on that. Let me just again for those viewers who are joining us at about uh, 20 minutes uh, past 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time, let me just briefly recap. Attacks on two American cities, New York and the Capitol in Washington. It began at about 8.45 Eastern Time when a plane crashed into the World Trade Center. That building, that was the building hit first. And then about a half an hour later, a second plane, and I'm not sure if we have the tape available. We, if we do, we'll show it to you. You can see the second plane coming in from the right side of your screen. 
going into the tower itself. This is an extraordinary and troubling piece of tape. The Justice Department is now being evacuated. The second attack on the Trade Center occurred about a half an hour or so after the first one. We have a report, CNN has been told, that an American Airlines 767 jet was hijacked out of Boston today. We don't know which of those two planes uh, hit the tower the second time. In the last 10 minutes or so, the South Tower, or at least a portion of the South Tower, has collapsed. It, uh, CNN's David Ensor joins us from Washington. David, where in the Capitol are you now? Well, Aaron, I'm, uh, I'm in our bureau, but I have on the telephone with me uh, Barbara, who is the wife of a friend of mine and who is an eyewitness to exactly what happened uh, at the Pentagon. Barbara, uh, can you hear me all right? Can you? Yes, I can hear you. Well, what exactly did you see? Uh, let's look at the Pentagon now as, as you describe uh, what exactly happened at the Pentagon this morning. As we were driving into town on 395, there was an exit. We were trying to get off the exit for the Memorial Bridge. Off to the left-hand side was a commercial plane that came in and was coming too fast and too low. And the next thing we saw was it go down below the side of the road, and we just saw the fire that came up after that. How large was the explosion? Uh, it was large. Was there sound as well? Um, we, that I can't, can't verify because the windows were up in the vehicle. Was it clear to you what had happened? Yes, definitely. So you believe it was a commercial airliner that was uh, hitting the Pentagon? Yes, and I'm not sure exactly where the Pentagon where it was in relationship to where the plane went down. You know, but they are relatively close to one another. Whether it hit any part of that Pentagon, I'm not sure. How low was the plane? When it was coming down? Yeah. It, it, it was coming down on uh, uh, less than a 45 degree angle and coming down toward the side of the um, 395. And when it came down, it just missed the 395 and went down below it. And then you saw the, the, boom, the um, fire come up from it. Were you able to see what kind of plane or what, what airline it belonged to? No, I did not see what kind of an airline. I just assumed because it was, we were so close to the airport, it was coming into land. But it seemed awfully low to you. Yes, and fast. How big was the fireball? Um, I, I'm spatially challenged at times, and it was pretty big. What did you think was happening? Um, I know that, that that hit the ground and exploded. Were you frightened yourself? Yes. Yes, everybody stopped the cars and we all got it and so forth. Right, well, thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate your talking to us. Aaron, back to you. David, thank you. CNN's David Ensor in Washington. CNN's Brian Palmer joins us on the phone from here in Manhattan. Brian, why don't you begin by telling me where you are? We are in front of the criminal courthouse after being pushed north slightly. We watched one of the towers of uh, the World Trade Center disappear from the skyline. It basically folded into itself in a plume of gray smoke. A crowd of thousands of people dashed up Broadway, followed by emergency services personnel. Um, that's all we know now. We're watching the plume of smoke uh, and, and debris just sort of waft, um, waft across uh, lower Manhattan, and people are lining up at this payphone behind me trying to find out uh, whether their relatives are safe. Well, let me just briefly go to Randy. Randy, just look out there and tell me what you're thinking when you see what now appears that at least part of one of the landmark buildings in this city, one of the most recognizable buildings in the country, is gone. It's the kind of moment you hope will never come. Uh, when you have been in government, when you care as much about this city and this country as a mayor like Rudy Giuliani does, it's a moment you pray will never come, and you pray for the families of anyone uh, affected by this tragedy. Uh, but as a city, you know, we come together and our emergency services provide every support they can in the face of such a senseless tragedy. It's an, it, it is an unbelievable scene. As Incredible. You, you look down, I mean, we stand here at some point every day looking out at this city this time of year. It's extraordinarily pretty. And you see those two buildings high above lower Manhattan. And you look out there today and you see this gaping hole in one of them these plumes of smoke that continue to pour from the scene, and you, and you know that there's nothing behind. That second 
tower, or at least parts of it, are gone. We join now uh, one of our affiliates, WNYW, and their coverage here in New York. Well, we, we will uh, we'll try and uh, make that connection again. Baron. Okay, a few more people could talk. Yeah, ready about 11. Sit off to 11. Okay. Le I will tell Aaron. All international air travel routed to Canada. From overseas, international flights, inbound to the U.S. Into the U.S. are now being rerouted to Canada. Yeah, that's what he said. Fine. There is, I'm told, there is no WNYW feed, guys. Right. I'm just channeling that word. I don't know exactly right now what it means. Why, where? Where? Okay, VT-130 in the router 15, if it's not there already. Where is that? I know, I, I need in a big little. I need a big little, because I can't leave this shot. Where are we getting ground shots? I want little, not live. Little, not live. I know, but it's, it's tape. Is this in our tape room or somewhere else? Okay. Okay. I don't have it. Put 15 in the bottom, put 11 in the top. I would do 26. Just resolve the 26. Okay, ready? One. Yeah. You can tell me. I don't have any control of this. Sue, Sue, it's not you live. Got, it's you tape. got on. Say again, Sue. Dissolve. Lose your lives. This is WABC. Send by dissolve back. He's getting, he's oh, getting it. Shots. The, uh, sh say it once again, you stepped on the, you got stepped on by the director. I turned him off. This is just all. Yes. Yes. Stand by the van. Okay, so not all international flights. Fine, okay. Yeah, but are they going to let it go? Yeah, well, I'll wait till we get a gap and I can tell them. There's no reason to bomb into them. I know, as soon as somebody up here can tell me to do it, I will. Tape de on the deck back there, tell me when. Is there any BG on this? Now, your, your banner's wrong, Sue. If uh, This banner's wrong, I'm Sue, told. Sue gave me a slight different version of the banner. Take a look at it. Can we? This is, this doesn't mean anything. Roll your tape, this is okay, okay. This is not WABC. Track 15. Yeah. Uh, he's, is he the current commissioner? Howard okay, that'll be big little. Put 11 in the okay. top. There, I want to do this. What do you think? Dissolve. With that font. That's good. We're going to swap out Howard Safer for your gas. Former police commissioner of New York. How long is this? Atlanta? Yes. We're going to swap a new guest in Howard Safer, former for New York it. police commissioner. Ready about a 10. S-A-F-I-R. What's the FIR? Okay. Howard. Is that Former live? Police Commissioner, New York. How long is this? I don't know. It's in your tape room. It's uh, off. It's over now. Advance. His mic. Ready router 10, 20. Shift C. Shift C. <laughs> yes. NYW, right? Yes. It's off. This is NYW. This is live, okay. right? This is NYW live. Okay, this is live. What? On that tape on. Okay, my shot. I might as well use my shot if we're doing a close up. Advance, is off. We're on 10. Oh, there it goes. Take, take the, uh, oh. the uh, tower. Bring it, bring it take 11. It now. 11. Get every shot we can on the tower. It's down. Ready, 8. Send my dissolve to 8. Live. Dissolve. I'm on, I'm on the Aaron Brown shot. Ready, 10. Silence. Dissolve to 10. Look at that. That is the other tower of the World Trade Center falling. Get ready to turn this around. Hold it right here. Just hold this. Can I use? I love their shot. Ready, router three. I don't know what this is, though. Who's channel two in New York? WCBS. Ready, router three. Batter, oh, they switched it. Forget it. Needs to be clear which is the first and which is the second. Yeah. 
I'm on, what am I on here, router 10. I'm listening, I'm on router 10, I, which is 23. This moment has to sink in before we leap into router it. Router 11. I know, I see. Is this live? Is this live? Yes, they are. Ready, one. Dissolve, I'm on one right now. I think it's live. Ready, 11. The WABC, if you can. I'm going back to my shot. Advance. No, Atlanta, do Advance, you have tape please. of the collapse? Dissolve. Okay. Where's Amanda, 50? you find okay, me good. tape of the collapse, too. Ready, when you six get first. it, put it at 11. Oh, we're going to lose the statue. Look what they're doing. This is better. That's great on the aerial. Okay, put up your big big. Put back. They're both New York now. I need a big, naked big big, please. And 17. I know. I'm trying to do it. 11 and 6. You don't have to rush into There you go. With 17. But they're both live. There you go. Ten by dissolve. Um, tell the cameraman. I don't want to see safer yet. I haven't picked a half. Oh, we have the same thing. Perfect there. Right there. This off. I want him to let this moment. What's that on 21 at the White House? Hey, uh, Atlanta, are you seeing the aerial with the world tra with the statue? Yes, I have it on the air. Oh, sorry, I was looking That's at the okay. wrong monitor. <laughs> it's just a little okay, up there. Good. Excellent Give me the choice. number, Christina. <laughs> Give me five five zero six. Can you look for that, Rich? That's that would have been five five zero six. Tell me, Jesus. See, Michael. What are we doing here? I think the moment needs to sink in. You, you don't need to do, do very much at all. To make that clear on the server, the second tower. No, wait, is that our tape or your it tape? It's a ground right? shot. I hope this is it. Wow. Roll it. Dissolve. Hold on. This is tape. Let's see Atlanta's tape because we have it as well. Oh, that's for the ground. Okay. Atlanta, I have a tape of the collapse as well. Can I roll it? You do? It? Stand yeah. by to roll yours, too. Okay, stand Ready by to roll eight. 11. This is still earlier. Go ahead and pop it up. I'm on mine. Okay, I'm roll 11. Roll dissolve. yours. Roll dissolve. 11. Roll it. This is not live. That's okay. I just, I'm just saying it. Guys, it cued. Yep, there, there it goes. goes. There it is. <coughs> I see a beeper. Yes. Good. Okay, hold on. I just want to get this picture out here. Okay, ready, router 11. This is live coming when we go. Back a beeper. Okay, get off this of it. Dissolve. Advance. Okay, this is live. 11 about a second later on the end. Mark a new end point, please. Yeah. Yeah. Wait till the nuclear weapons rain down on Afghanistan. Yeah. 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 Really, you know, CNN Center would be a great target, wouldn't it? Yes, I was thinking that. What are we doing? Ready, router six. Hey guys, you see the Somebody banner on Fox? Two. This, this is which one is this again? You see the banner WCBS, on Fox? WCBS, please. WCBS. But look at the banner on Fox, guys. Capitol Police say a hijacked plane is en route to Washington. Hijacked plane en route to Washington, according to Fox. Okay, good. Thank you. No, you can't. Lose your font. There it is. Send by dissolve to 11 with font. As soon as it gets done talking about it. Back off about another You can advance your font past WCBS. Go to it. Yeah. Yeah. This off. State Department, where do you think I have that? Ready about a four. Okay. Widen out okay, a little good. bit. Fine, we got a guess I here. need your big little, please. We got a guess here. Right Eight in the bottom, 11 in the top. 
Hey guys, we yes. should do Aaron and his gas. Atlanta? Yes. We got Aaron and his gas. You, can you got Aaron what? Aaron is talking to a Yes, gas. I see. Send me dissolve. Dissolve. I'm on that effect right now. Ready router 10. WUSA is our Howard Safer, former New York City Police Commissioner. This is Howard Safer, former U.S. Yeah, former New York, New York City. Yeah. Ready router 7. Stand by your WUSA font. Yeah, kill the E on the end of his name. Safer, oh, not safer. Sapphire. No, safer. E. Safer, not Sapphire. I'm well, that's okay. Fine. Well, you just had a font up. Yeah. Yeah, well, we're trying to look for the, like, the uh, city command center. But she said. Gotta be where he is. Yeah. Uh, well, wait. That's the Pentagon, isn't it? That's the Pentagon. I want your big, big. That has New York and Washington, please. Are we on all CNN networks worldwide? I assume. New York, New York, Washington, please. I want seven We're on in all the global networks. Seven in the right hand side. Okay. I want ten in the left. Okay. And Asia and Europe, right? Okay. Huh? Have have our banners cycled through that both towers have collapsed? Um, okay. The second plane for the Pentagon. Stand by this effect. Uh, no, no, not with that in there. That's the wrong thing. In there. Put router, put router four in the right hand side. Is Clayton in yet? Okay. We need to begin to think ahead this for the next effect. week or weeks. We're going to need to be anchoring out there Look. probably for several days. We need to think about some kind of a tent structure for rain, other things we're going to need, because we're not going to want to come back inside for a few days. No, no, let's not worry about that. Let's Yeah. Huh? No, that's, that's the other affiliate. That's the same thing I have. No one talk to me for a minute. No one. Okay, now look at. Uh, okay, I where do we have 31? Is that in 19? By the way, guys. 31 and 19? I don't know okay. what it is. Put in, in the right hand side, I put jet uh, fighters router 19. scrambling on my local ABC feed. Can I don't do know what, you're, ha what you're getting. We I can do the 19. There you go. Thank you. Right. Stand by. We have our own shot. What? Stand by to pop router seven in the right hand side. Part, pop seven part in of there. The Pentagon has collapsed. Oh man. Yeah, I do. What is it? That's the biggest fucking. W U S A courtesy for the left right hand side, please, if you can. Good luck. Is Sue there? Well, do we need to think about a title for this thing, like Attack on America, um, to begin to label up some of these graphics? Just tell me what you want and I can show you. She's got two tapes, ground charges, Yeah. Do you want to think about a title for this? Tell me which ones, give me numbers so I get them right. Okay, good. 490, QB. Great minds think alike, huh? Great minds think alike. Got it. Okay, B and C is what I have. All right. The ground shot of the tower collapse in the second. Yeah, who's calling David? Incoming 21 is what? what? What's incoming 21? Where do we see that? I know, I see it. 
31 much Yeah, we already have that, right? Send to pop 19. Send to advance your fine. Advance, pop 19 in the right-hand okay. side. We already have that. They have it in Atlanta anyways. Okay. Okay. Ready router seven, which was WUSA. Do you want me to do it or not? Okay, dissolve. WUSA, advance. This is the Pentagon, if you can get a locator that says it. This is the Pentagon. Preset two, that should be us. Stand by to advance. Okay, ready about 11. We're going back to New York, everybody. Dissolve. Track a beeper. Figures. Yeah, let me have your big, big with seven on the right hand side. Oh, we, we flipped them now. Why did we flip them? Oh, we didn't. Good. Okay, somebody dissolve for that. We're okay for now. Dissolve. Let him get you in and work. How are you, Junior? Where? Okay. First blast, which one? Yeah. I, 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 I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think we should bring Jeff out here to talk with Aaron. Yeah. 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 So C is, C is when the second tower came down. The Pentagon is evacuating the Secretary of Defense. Okay. You want it over this beeper? Okay. Pentagon you want it over confirmed. this beeper?